What's up? What's up, everybody? Today we're here on Snow Sukasa's account to take a look at some interesting dungeon teams. Now, some of these teams we've seen before, like Necropolis is fairly standard, uh, Four Twins and Illusion, the Steel Fortress is fairly standard. However, the Giants, Dragons, and Punisher's Crypt ones are interesting because uh, Second Awakened Soth just came out. He's running three of those with Second Awakened Soth. Now, Dragons, we kind of saw something similar. Did we see Rika? I don't remember if we saw Rika. Punisher's Crypt, I don't know. I don't think, we, I mean, we didn't see that team, did we? But it's fairly similar to stuff that we've seen before. Wait, did I upload those? Did I upload? I think I might have not uploaded some of the Punisher script teams uh, and videos that I think that I did. So I'm not entirely sure. But the thing that got the most of my attention was Giants uh, B12 with two fire units and two four-star unawakened Melias. Now, d just a disclaimer, some of these teams are not 100, well, none of these teams are 100%, right? There's really no, there's actually no 100% team regardless. But some of these teams don't have like crazy win rates. It's just fun to see. They do win more often than they lose, but I just want to disclaim that not crazy, crazy, crazy win rates. Not like triple Okara win rates. So if you're thinking that it's going to be a triple Okara win rate thing uh, with four star unawakened units, you may be mistaken because as soon as something moves on the enemy team, both those Melias are getting wiped out. But I thought it was at least interesting and fun enough for. Not for comedic purposes, for entertainment purposes, let's say entertainment purposes, to see some of these uh, interesting uh, dungeon teams. He doesn't have any crazy runes. So uh, let's take a look at, uh, at the Dragons, Punisher's Crypt, and Giants B12. I was looking at his email, his disclaimer, he was like, yeah, in, in Giants B12, if anything moves and hits those Dryads, they die instantly. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that one. Uh, I guess this is why he he five starred them. Still unawakened, still not max level, but they he at least five starred them. So we can't see them in all their four star glory, unfortunately. But uh, I think it would have made more fun content if we could see them at four stars. But it's the same basic idea, right? It's the, the same basic idea, just lots of continuous damage. So an element advantage there. Those dryads, those uh, those wind dryads are actually underrated. Another thing with those wind dryads is. Well, well, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we do the uh, the Giants portion. But yeah, Wind Dryads are definitely underrated. Fantastic units for uh, TOA. So, for, well, fantastic units for TOA for uh, also for... That's nice, man. All that continuous damage, all that dating. We saw, I mean, we saw something similar. We were, we were trying this out on uh, the other day, but... The other day, not yesterday. We tried this out sim similar yesterday, but I just wanted to see some other teams. Uh, and see Punisher script team with I mean it still has Rika so you still got to summon Rika for this to work. well do you though you don't really have to summon Rika for this to work it's just she's a very effective unit rip the dream rip the dream on this uh oh you do get it never oh tattoo why what are you doing tattoo tattoo's so stupid tattoo's so stupid okay well oh, I mean the, he's he's still not getting turns but Luckily, there's a three-turn cooldown on Tattoo's third skill, even though she's stupid. I guess it makes up for her stupidity to have a three-turn cooldown. That's a lot of dots. There's no there's no more dots that are even going to be applied, though. So, Tattoo's going to get a turn. And finish this drag. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, so that's Dragon's B12. In a nutshell, 127. Not bad. I mean, not as nothing's going to be consistent as as consistent as uh, Triple Akaru, but it's still a fun team to see. Now onto Giants B12 with two unawakened five stars and two fire units. So let's actually take a look at the runes and see how they are all ruined up. He's got just speed, HP, and accuracy. Nice. <laughs> not well. I mean, I wouldn't have uh, said plus 15 that rune either. So speed, HP, and accuracy just f on violent fast enough and decent accuracy, right? So just on Valent fast enough. To, is this the one we saw or do we see the other one? It's the same, the same runes. Uh, and then Stupid uh, Tattoo has, I'm just gonna call her Stupid Tattoo until she actually does smart things. So Stupid Tattoo is just on amazing runes right here. Uh, fantastic runes. Um, this guy actually, well, two things. Number one, he doesn't need to be on, if he's got continuous damage on here, then he's do it for like for TOA or whatever. Um, and you're doing damage through the continuous damage and the detonates. He doesn't actually need to be on crit damage. So just food for thought, just something to keep in mind. Uh, that this build with continuous damage, that's where you're getting your damage from. So you don't actually need crit damage. But he does need more accuracy because 23 accuracy is not really going to land too much. I'm going to... 
I'm, I'm a little concerned with that amount of accuracy. We do have extra accuracy, extra accuracy from the accuracy runes. We don't have anything more from the um, from the artifacts, but that accuracy is still too low. It's only 33% after these extra accuracy. Does she have accuracy runes? No. Do you have accuracy runes? No, you don't. And this one's on. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, he also needs more accuracy to land his continuous damage, too. Because he's all about continuous damage. So, um, anyway, those are the runes. I, may, I, I told you it wasn't any, any crazy... Did I tell you guys it wasn't any crazy runes? It's not any crazy runes, but... Yeah, there we go. Amazing runes. Wow, nobody's ever going to be able to, uh, to make this kind of team. But this works as long as they use the right skills. Or he does that. That works too. Blows everything. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So as long as something CCs these, uh... Well, actually, they didn't They didn't fall down just yet. So, they're, they're all hitting the uh, Grim Reaper. So, Earth Friends. More dots. Please don't tell me the Grim Reaper dies. That's gonna suck. Okay, Tattoo, do your thing. Tattoo, do, do things. Oh, beautiful. Okay. They got lucky that time. They got lucky. Okay, so we've got uh, some tech age decreases. They got some continuous damage. They have more continuous damage, more attack age decreases. They have some more... Are they going to CC or no? Incinerate. Does some dots. Does some dots. Does... Uh, oh, got lucky again. Oh, my goodness. Well, also they don't have skill 2 max. So if they had skill 2 upgraded, um, that would be even better. Right? One continuous damage. Some more continuous... Oh, so many more continuous damage. Oh, so much continuous. Okay, that's GG. That's that's game. That's game. That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. It's such a fun team to see. I told you guys, it's for entertainment purposes. That's such a fun team to see. It was so close, though. It was Maybe he's running uh, giants enough to, like, level these units up. But, yeah, it was so close to dying multiple times. Um, but, but it did not die. So, uh, also, again... Uh, I think I have my um, my Wind Dryad on Despair on whatever accounts I have her built. I think she's on Despair. Violet is fine for, her, but she's not scaled up with skill two, which would have been uh, which would have been even better. Um, yeah, and then maybe one of them on Despair could have been uh, one or two on Despair for the the waves. But yeah, still fun team. This one's gonna be fun to see. This actually is kind of interesting because this Water Homunculus will decrease the attack bar of the enemies, which makes the boss get a turn, which means that those continuous damage are going to, uh, are going to tick off. They're going to get ticked off. Uh, they're going to do double damage. So let's see how much, um, let's see how much, uh, how crazy it gets. Let's see what kind of, because I don't use the water homunculus here because I'm like, yeah, I don't want the boss getting turns, but uh, let's see if this is actually with this kind of team, if this is advantageous to use the uh, attack age. Reduction, which grants the boss uh, another turn, right? Gives the boss attack age. He boosts his attack age whenever there's attack age reduction. And I'm I'm loving the fact that he's using the dark jack o' lantern because I think that's a tattoo. <laughs> because I think that's an underrated unit is the dark jack o' lantern. So she cleanses that off, man. That sucks. That sucks that he cleanses off the uh, the boss's stuff. All right, some more continuous damage, and as soon as the boss gets a turn, well, detonates, so. So far, not bad. I'm just concerned with that amount. <laughs> tattoo! Why is she so bad? Why is the tattoo AI so terrible? Seriously. I'm just con I'm concerned with that uh, second skill in the homunculus when we get to the boss, so I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how it, uh, how it does. I could just test it on my account, but I just haven't been doing it because... I'm like, yeah, I don't want the boss to get turns, but with this kind of team, might not be that bad. Okay, so lots of continuous damage, and then we'll do one of those, and the boss gets some turns, and then the boss is gonna, well, he's gonna get his cleansed off, which is not great, and there we go, okay. Decrease attack age, okay, everything's tanky enough to actually survive, though. But the boss is getting a decent amount of turns. Although the towers are now done. The towers are dead. So we don't have to worry about the towers at all. So, Water Homunculus is dead. But he comes back from the dead. Some more continuous damage. 
lots of turns. Let's see this again, though. I want to see this again. I don't want to just... Okay, so this this was okay. Um, let's see it again, though. 1 minute 50 seconds. Okay. Let's see one more time. One more time. While we're here, right? Because I don't know how I feel about this, uh, this homunculus second skill here. Although with a dot team, with a continuous damage team, it does make sense, right? With th This is like the one team that it's okay in. If you want the boss cycling turns to do continuous damage. But we also, there was a, there was a lot of situations there where we like... I mean, I'm critiquing the, I'm, I'm critiquing this team. I should be critiquing all, like all of them are just like... Uh, so continuous damage uh, crazy teams. But it's fun, it's fun to see uh, stuff like this. It's fun to see all the continuous damage detonate. Do lots of damage. Yeah, Fire Guardian Angel. Is she on, she's on Violet, right? She's not on uh, she's not on Despair. Sometimes Rika's on Despair, sometimes they're on Violent. I feel like more nowadays they're on uh, on Violent than Despair. But I'm still uh, old school. Still old school, old man bagel using his uh No! Oh that sucks! That sucks! That sucks that he got the uh I mean that part doesn't suck. Okay, I want to see this a third time. I want to see this. I I want to see this one more time. I want to see this one more time. We're here. We may as well, right? We may as well. I want to see this. Uh, I want to see this again. This is not working that bad though. I mean, it's given the tower some turns to cleanse off all the continuous damage, but then we just kill the tower, right? So uh, that works pretty fine. One minute twenty five seconds. Let's see it again. I don't know what he wants to keep or what he doesn't want to keep. Maybe I should keep some of these. Eh, uh, nah. But I don't think it's bad to keep blue ones. Better to have blue uh, artifacts on things than to have zero artifacts on things. So. More continuous damage, more continuous damage. She didn't have a detonate, although the boss moved, so it's okay. Took all that continuous. There's so much. I mean, unfortunately, like these things get cleansed, but unfortunately, tattoo. Well, tattoo actually. Sometimes she does good. Sometimes she does good. Sometimes uh, disappointing. So, is the boss gonna get a turn? Kind of want to not use any more skill twos or skill threes. Okay. So some magic bullet chains. Some continuous. Nice continuous damage. Too bad. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So. Yeah, unfortunately, we we don't we, we don't want to do that one first. We want to do the continuous damage first. But I mean, it's got I mean it's it's interesting. It's got some potential, but yeah, now it cleanses. Now we got some more dots. So the towers, I mean it's it's like on the edge, right? It's doing a decent amount of damage, but... Thrain's... Oh, Thrain's dead. That's gonna be a problem. Continuous damage, though. Okay. <laughs> Sketchy! Maybe we don't watch it again. Oh, that was so close. We don't need to watch it again. We don't need to... I said it for entertainment purposes, right? But still, interesting team. Still, fun team. Looks like that dark uh, jack-o'-lantern was just, uh, just 6 star not too long ago. So... Triple shield, HP, defense, HP. Okay. 36 speed! 36. Oh, well, see, the Dark Jackalantern would, the Dark Jack -Lantern would actually be much better uh, if he was faster. So, I get the I get the, the tankiness and that part, but yeah, he'd be better if he was faster. This way you could uh, potentially do slows to the boss, right? Triple hit slow. Um, and then you can also do more of the Song of the... Song of the... What is it? Song of the Wind? Do things. Yeah, also he's missing an artifact. Um, so, yeah. So it'd be nice to get some more uh, some more turns faster than that. So, anyway. Yeah, she's on Bound, right? Bound focus. Speed, HP, HP. Yeah. Interesting teams. That's basically... That's, that's what I was trying to say. Interesting teams. Uh, continuous damage teams. Kind of fun. Kind of fun to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, for entertainment purposes, of course, there's not going to be like 100... None, none of these teams like this are going to be like 100% teams. 
but no teams are 100%. Like, I've even seen uh, Tricaro fail on multiple accounts, mine and other people's. If anyone tells you Tricaro doesn't fail, it does. It's just a very, 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 very small percentage of the time. That's one of the beautiful things about it is, like, the failure rate is very, very low um, just because there's not a whole lot of room for it to fail, right? They, 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 they don't give too much... Uh, too much room for failure. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.